the thing that I have gone through that has helped me and has also helped others. And I want to make sure that we are all supporting each other. And if it was it. wrong, they find another way to justify why they did it. And they will do it in a way to manipulate you to side with them today. If right now, need. today, what I need you to do is focus on how I can validate my own damn self without me feeling like I need to find someone else to do that validation for me. Uh, that's what Yes, champion, when I say love yourself again, you may have never it's, even explored this. It's very, very, very powerful is that there is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love. You need to understand specifically. Hey everyone, this is Adaya Sheree. And I am here to give you guys some information about um, the difference between a narcissist versus a sociopath. So I'm here to give you guys some information to talk about the difference between a narcissist versus a sociopath. And the reason why... I want to talk about this because this is my thing. This is my jam talking about this and helping people out there that are in relationships with these people. And when I say relationships, you may be in a relationship with someone and that could be someone that's at your job. That could be someone in your family. You could be in an intimate relationship such as a spouse. Um, many types of interactions that you may notice that this person is abusive in some way. And I want to make sure that I talk about the difference between a sociopath versus a narcissist or a narcissist versus a sociopath. So if you've been in a relationship and you're like, this person is emotionally abusive and every time we have an altercation or every time we have some type of situation, I always leave that conversation wrong. I always leave that interaction that we had that I'm the bad person because this person just made me feel like crap. I want to talk about that because I want to make sure that I help people out and just really, really talk about this. It's really serious and it's really dangerous. I myself dated one a few years back and my gosh, and this was before I even started to get into this work, you know, I had to get, you know, therapy, counseling. I needed all of that stuff because I was feeling like I was losing my mind. Um, didn't didn't really understand the concept behind it. So here's here's a situation that I'm going to share about me and how I started to get more into this work about relationship coaching and identity coaching. So I was dating this guy and every time that that was something that came up that he did, I was wrong. And when I say this, here's an example. There's an example to where there was this huge argument to where he was texting and talking to people inappropriate. It was just the most disrespectful thing ever that I saw and I caught. And <laughs> he made it seem like it was me. He made it seem like it was me. And honestly, I wasn't going through his phone to look at anything I actually had his phone and the messages popped up like but he was outside and then he came back and obviously the message was up there because it was in my face like I had the phone like every everything was showing and then right after that like I was the bad person I was the bad person. And then it gets even further, even more uh, with a situation that I encountered is that, and if you know that this has been your jam in a relationship, this video is for you. This video is for you. There was another situation that I encountered, I encountered to where <laughs> um, he apparently was still having some type of issues with his ex or something like that and I'm gonna turn my phone off or at least turn it down because I'm sick of it going off and it's going off while I'm, while I'm actually live um he was still having some interactions I don't know what the situation was and there was this huge blow up like the lady like finds out and and I'm like I didn't even know that y'all was even 
together i don't even know if he was actually with her but i think he was just trying to persuade his way to get something from her and obviously he had sent her flowers and all of that and i found out right so i found out <laughs> and then like he was just crying like he was crying like boohoo crying like crying but here's the reason why i said that is because while he was crying right in imagine this while he was crying he says sheree don't you know that don't you see that i've been crying my crying all night and i've been crying basically wanting me to feel bad that he was crying you know but but he was the one that did it that caused all the tears but he wanted me to feel bad for him basically saying do you see that I'm actually making some efforts and crying? You should feel bad for me, so take me back. Like, no. Like, that's this is why I want to talk about this is because I I talk to men and women. I coach men and women, and I see it in women, and I see it in men. One thing that I will definitely say, I'm going to tell you guys the difference between the two so you can know who you messing with, okay? So, when you think about a narcissist, that's a personality disorder. Sociopath, also a personality disorder. Many times people like to use them interchangeably. No, they're not the same. A narcissist is a person that feeds and crave for attention. Like whatever the person has to do they want it if it's about them they want it if it has something to do with someone else they don't want anything to do with it so here's an example of a narcissist i used this one time in my one of my youtube videos and then i'll post that at the bottom so then you guys can see the difference between the two so a narcissist is someone that when i say crave attention that is their agenda that is their agenda a narcissist is someone that craves attention and if it's not about them they want nothing to do with it that is an arrogant person and when i say a narcissist a narcissist Everything has to be about them, whether they are a covert narcissist or whether they are like all grandioso. You would know. You would find out what their intentions are. Why? It's because they want it. They, you would see it. You would naturally see that every time you're having a conversation with someone, you can be having the, the best conversation at a dinner table and you're talking about that you got, you know, maybe someone is getting married, right? Maybe someone has just gotten engaged. A narcissist will turn that around on them and make the whole conversation about them when you just said, hey, I'm getting engaged, I met a nice woman, I met a nice man, um, or whatever it is that you want to celebrate at the table. A narcissist will turn that conversation around and make it about them. Have you ever been around people that you are noticing is that whatever it is that's not about them, they want nothing to do with it, and they will make every attempt to bring the spotlight on them. That's a narcissist. That is a narcissist. Now, a sociopath. A sociopath is not that, right? A sociopath is a narcissist, but a narcissist doesn't necessarily have to be a sociopath. Here's why. A sociopath does not... Right. A sociopath does not have to work hard. A sociopath is very cunning. A sociopath is very manipul manipulative. They would do whatever they need to do discreetly. And instead, let's say that same example, the same example would be you're at that same dinner table with a sociopath and you're talking about all the greatness and good things that are happening in your life. A sociopath will join in that conversation. A sociopath will join in that conversation. <laughs> they do. They join in that conversation because they don't have to work that hard. They don't have to work that hard for you to like them. Why? It's because they're going to put the attention on you so then you can like them. Why? It's because they have a different intent anyway. Let me give you some examples. If you watch serial killers, um, moves or Ted Bundy's, Charles Manson, these type of people, they're sociopaths. They are sociopaths. 
they really put the spotlight on other people. Now, I will tell you this. A sociopath does not, when I say they don't have to work hard, they don't have to work as hard as a narcissist because that's not really their thing. That's not really their agenda. Unless they have an agenda to get something from you, they're not really concerned about what's going on in your life. They're just going to side with you and just appear, appear to be on your side. Now, here's the thing about a sociopath. A sociopath doesn't really have a personality. A sociopath doesn't really have a personality. They really don't. You don't know what personality they have. That's why when you see these documentaries of these serial killers, like they look like this and then they look like that, you really don't know who that person is because they are sociopaths because their whole intent is to get something else. That's why when you understand the difference between a narcissist a narcissist will work very hard to get anything that it wants, such as power, um, greed, anything that re revolves around something that pertains to them having something. That is a narcissist, okay? That is a narcissist. Now, when you look at um, a sociopath, when you look at a sociopath, a sociopath does not really care. They don't really care about what's going on in your life because they don't really have a personality anyway. That's why they do the most bizarre things. So when you're starting to pay attention, start paying attention to the people that you feel like, I just had this huge conversation with someone, right? And I'm telling you this as advice. I just had a huge altercation or a conflict with someone that was 100% wrong. But when you leave the conversation, you feel like you 100% wrong. Why? It's because they have, the word is gaslighting. They have gaslit you into believing that whatever you said to them is your fault. Now, that's the common thing that they do have. A narcissist does it more. A narcissist does it more. A sociopath would be more of the caring type person and feeling like, like, you know, you're the most important thing for them. You're just like everything to them. Those are abusive people. That's why when you look at a narcissist and a sociopath, they are very dangerous. They are very dangerous. You need to watch, watch out for these type of people. Now, I will say, just because someone wants attention doesn't necessarily mean that they are a narcissist. What I'm talking about, you have to pay attention to the tactics and the things that they are doing to get that. I will say this. A sociopath is not easy to identify. A sociopath is not easy to identify. Here's one story that I read about, and I'm mentioning Ted Bundy. Right before Ted Bundy was executed, he completely denied every killing that he had with all of these women, all of his victims, until the last moment, until the last moment when he was sitting before his execution with his, I think his girlfriend, he had been with his girlfriend for seven years. She had no clue all the list was going on. I think this man was so sick that he killed like a 12 year old or, or something like a child. But he denied it up until the time that he was executed. And then that's when he confessed and said that he did that. But most of the things that he said, if you look at him carefully, he makes it seem like, no, I didn't do it. And if you look at his appearance, right, he looks well put together. He looks well put together. He's a sociopath because even his girlfriend had a, had a daughter. No one even really had a clue that this was going on. Why? It's because he had all these other personalities that you never even knew exist a narcissist don't a narcissist will be exposed quicker that's why it took Ed Bundy so long to be prosecuted and convicted because a, a sociopath is very very conniving a narcissist would expose themselves way sooner because they react sooner why it's because they care about themselves and they want to make sure that they want to make sure that their cup is filled with themselves. So then you will start to see their behavior way quicker than a sociopath. So know the difference between the two. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. This is Adaya Sheree. I'm always here making sure I give you guys some information about, you know, and today I wanted to talk about the difference between a sociopath and a narcissist. Watch out for those narcissists and watch out for those sociopaths. Those people can drive you crazy. If you have been dealing with these type of people, hit me up. Y'all take care and y'all be blessed.